Hi guys, today it's Mrs. Hoffman and you will be reading Arthur's Bad News. Let's take a peek and let's get to know Arthur. Well, let's see. Oh, so Arthur got is going to get some terrible news, but his day was perfect until then. So let's find that word terrible on page, page three. Go ahead, pause the video right now and look for the word terrible. Awesome, you found it, terrible. Go ahead, clap that word, terrible. Mm -hmm. Three parts, very good. What I'm noticing is a double R. So if we were to write this word, we could see tear on one side, rib in the middle, and ul at the end. Slide and swipe your finger underneath it right now. Terrible. Excellent. So the next time we do this, you're actually going to pause the video and write the word down. Okay, so that you can do all of it. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, and on page seven, there is a word that has a synonym and it means really big, maybe even huge could be another synonym for this word. Can you find this word? Gigantic. Let's go ahead and look for it. Gigantic. J, J. Sounds like J, but we also know that it could be G. Hmm. Find that word now. Pause the video. Once you find that word, write it down. That's right. This is the word gigantic. Let's go ahead. You wrote this word down. If you haven't, write it down now. Pausing the video gigantic. Very good. And once again, it means huge or really big. Let's keep going. The next word that I want to take you to is a word on page 13 and it is wriggled. Can you believe it? Oh, I thought the author had made a mistake and meant to put wiggled, but guess not. It's a real word. I even looked it up. Mm -hmm. So wriggled. Sounds like there would be an R at the beginning. Let's look for words that start with R and see if they if we can find it. Uh, no, that looks like ridiculous. Okay, let's keep going. Wriggled. No, that's rushing. Hmm, okay, keep going. Huh. Wiggles. Ah, pause the video and write this word down. You're back. Let's take a look at this word. Wiggles. Two parts, and I'm noticing it has a double G. Draw a line right between the two. Show yourself the first part. Rig. Cover it up. Show yourself the next part. Goals. Okay. Slide and say it. Riggles. Do you have the letters to make that word? You sure do. Let's keep going. So ladies and gentlemen, as you read this awesome story about Arthur and his bad news day, I want you to be thinking about the who, what, where, when, why, and how of this story. Don't forget, you need to have some evidence. I know this yeah, uh-huh, I know this because, and then tell me what happened in the story, all right? You're also going to be thinking about what is the lesson that Arthur is learning, okay? I think it might be connected to our grandfather teachings. So as I turn the pages for you or slide the book down, what you're gonna do is pause the video, read the pages, push play, move to the next page, Pause the video again so that you can read all the words and keep going until the end of the book. Okay, off we go. Arthur's bad day, bad news day. Pause. 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 Mm -hmm. Pause. Q. 
keep reading. And you're done. That is the story of Arthur. Don't forget, use your pencil paper and write down the who, what, when, where, why, and how. And then tell me what you think the, uh, what the lesson of this story is and why. Because, don't forget to use that word because, all right? Off you go. Have a great day, guys.